excitement that some movies and television shows have brought forth lately, a great American pastime has become a big business. Hot rod shops all over the nation have the need for highly trained technicians, and one local school trains those professionals. Anya Mueller joins us live from the Hot Rod Institute with more. Hey, Anya, good morning. Thank you very much, Eric and Elizabeth. And yes, I have somewhat of a classic car myself, my 1981 Malibu Classic. Now, this is the first car I ever drove. Since then, my dad tuned it up, and my brother gave it a custom paint job, and now I'm ready to get it back on the road. But first, here's a look at what they do at the Hot Rod Institute. Sometimes known as motorheads or grease monkeys, the appeal of custom cars is what these automotive restoration technicians love about the industry. Dedicated to keeping the spirit of hot rods alive, the Hot Rod Institute provides high quality technical career training, an industry that is lacking professionals. I had a call from Georgia yesterday, people just having a hard time getting qualified people to do it because it's a specialty industry and it's a specialty car industry. So. Uh, we and that's what we cater to. In its seventh year, the institute sees anywhere from 25 to 40 students per year, and they are taking more than just classes. They also get hands-on experience. HRI hires their graduates as paid interns to work on customers' cars, which is always in high demand. Owner Doug Larue, who has been in the industry for 40 years, says each custom car reflects the owner's personality. You know, you're going to see cars out there that are all about the muscle and the and the roar of the engine and they may not be as pretty. That's that guy's personality. If you see the shiny pretty ones with, you know, they might be in stock condition, they may be modified. That's the way I look at it, their personality. The nostalgia of a classic car can hold great memories for many. More into older cars, restoring them, restoring the heritage and the past and the history of them. Doug says the only prerequisite of getting accepted into the program is enthusiasm, as the industry's demand for quality hot rod restoration continues to rise. That's right, I'm hanging out here at the Hot Rod Institute this morning with a bunch of cool cars, and joined with me now is Evan Brown. Now, Evan, how did your journey begin here at the Hot Rod Institute? Well, actually, I found the school on uh, TV uh, through a TV episode called Stacy David uh, Gears TV mm -hmm. and it's a show I've been watching for a long time and I absolutely had to come see the school and I got hooked and here I am now actually. And now you actually work here now? Yes I do actually. Okay very cool and what, what's your favorite part of working here? My favorite, there's so many favorite parts actually. Uh, one of them is uh, the job that I'm doing I, I don't do the same thing every day, which I really appreciate. Doing custom work like this, is, it's really neat. So. Very good. And tell me a little bit about this car behind us. This car is actually one of our rod chop cars. It's a 48 Chevy. Uh, it's been chopped, shaved. Uh, actually got to paint this car in our uh, class. So it's, it's been a, a neat thing to see it trans. Uh, transition and everything. Absolutely. Sounds like a fun job and fun times here at the Hot Rod Institute. 